in last video we just created a name sell price actual price rating all the values separately for particular page there were only 24 product is available now our target is to combine all the pages in the same time it means i want all the 347 product okay because in a one page we just find out only 24 product so i already created the file uh, web scrapping final so i just run it because uh, you know the same thing uh, is there i don't want to repeat it again and again okay so first of all when i run this one uh, because we need i'm um, pandas numpy and matplotlib matplotlib is not required because we are not pl uh, plotting anything here so let me just remove it okay and a basic one uh, beautiful soap and url open we required and uh, i just take only one uh, particular you know uh, page this is the page number one even you can also check it when i just search it here on a url you will find out the first page okay that's the first page so exactly every time only the page one page two is is changing i already uh, explained you in the last video yeah when i click on the second page then only two is change here so what i applied here i directly applied with a for loop and uh, with you know uh, string for uh, string formatting so percentage of i and directly pass the values here okay percentage of i in nothing but integer and variable we are passing startingly one two three four that's why starting from one all right and whatever and obviously it will be stored in a list okay store in the list so i don't want to store in the list all right i want a complete string that would be stored in the list that's why i'm just taking only a string uh, values so let me run it both the values so now every url is stored inside a urls where all the pages are available all the 15 pages is available and whatever we perform the operation on this one you know uh, you client open is close and uh, you know page soap and container so everything i just write it down here and put inside a, a connect fu uh, function so that we can use it again and again okay and then we just check it only one particular product is properly working on not all right so in a urls i am just taking only one url yeah only one url and that store in the con and from that con i'm just taking only one product so that's why it's printing like for one product so that we can easily understand it all right if this one is not more important because i already explained you in the last video in this file so now and the same thing here you know uh, correct url and uh, we of uh, just for a tasting purpose is properly working or not now this one is for finding the product of entire page yeah uh, finding the product of entire page this one so exactly uh statically we'll start from as uh, 1 to 16. so when you just compare in, in, in the python scenario so python is all python index is always start with zero and if it mentioned here 1 to 16 that means start from 1 and end with 16 and i want to fetch it all the uh you know urls one by one so obviously by default indexes would be a zero so that's why i mentioned here 0 to 15 okay 0 to 15 that will take entire 14 uh, pages okay so when you just count it here so one two three four so entire that is kind of starting from one to end with 15 and here i just mentioned 0 to 15 in the sense 0 to 14 it will go till 14 only never goes to 15 so the product will be complete 15 okay so when i just run it that it will showing all the uh you know uh 15 pages product all the 15 pages product now it's running in here it fetching all the values i didn't do anything whatever process is applied here con uh, you know for container con the same thing i just applied here but i just connected with the one more for loop because we have the uh, you know 15 pages as well that's the same thing you can just relate it here okay 
and then we also just check it that my uh, you know all the offer uh, person rating person rating in the sense uh, you know number of rating and number of review and rating uh, what exactly rating is their actual price selling price so i also just try it with, with my container all the container and find out in the few places yep i just find out few places this container is nothing but it's taking from a con and a con is nothing but uh, you know the for only one url now we understood like uh, your actual price and selling price is same some places so we have to handle it this problem as well so we'll handle with the exception handling all right so our target is to make a complete data frame complete data frame in the sense complete table where all the value should be available like a product name and uh, your rating and your reviews everything should be available so we have to make a complete data frame to making the complete data frame what i did i just uh creating the complete dictionary that's a list of dictionary and uh, that totally the blank list and we'll append it one by one and we have the complete 14 uh, sorry 15 page that will start from 0 to 14 so complete become a 15 okay so the same thing i just did the copy paste product name and div everything and but every time it's appended here every time is appended this one okay all the values is appended this one every time and the same thing i just apply for a selling price so this one is applied for uh, your you know uh, product name product name and and everything will be appended to the product name and suppose if it's starting from a zero zero uh, you know uh, yeah that's one zero so zeroth page nothing but a first page and then it will taking a one product and it will complete all the uh, value of one product and then goes to the next product then next product then next product when it complete a complete 24 product then goes to the second page hmm? it will working like this way first it will taking a one page with i and then uh, for this for loop it will enter the one particular product and complete entire process then a complete entire process in the sense taking a 24 product and after complete up all the 24 product then goes to the next page and then again enter complete a 24 product then go to the next page and and uh, co complete 24 product then go to the next page then next page 24 product it will apply like this way hmm. okay now this one is starting from a selling price sell price okay the sell price uh, i also did the copy paste from the previous one okay but this time and sometimes sell price is a same right a sell price uh, not creating any kinds of problem because we have to sell that product so directly it's appended here but when you're talking about other one is actual price hmm? actual price so if the product don't have any kinds of offer so obviously uh, your actual price is become a sell price so that time actual price is not there so in that situation we have to write something and we apply the try block we apply just try block in case uh, if the actual price is there that will be appended to the actual price container and if it's not there then we'll get in the index error in that situation we just added the same price that's it the same thing we are applying for rating as well in some places if the product is totally new then it's not showing any kinds of rating all right so in that situation normally it will be a uh, walk on it and the value is appended to the uh, rating container and if it's getting the index error then it will be appended it will be appended no rating hmm? that's it, appended no rating and then we up, uh, we just apply for uh, you know person rating how many person is giving the rating number of person uh, given rating okay so then we just apply normally and in case if you're facing the any kinds of index error that time will directly pass a no rating because the product is a totally new 
so rating is not available okay and then we have also the offer offer like if at here is also creating the problem in case the actual price and selling price both are the same so it's not showing any offer right it's a common sense if the actual price and selling price are same then offer is not there so that time we are showing no offer this product and uh, in and in a uh, first for loop i just created the statement is it done and the index as well so that when i run this file run this function at least we'll know that which page is exactly running so let me just run it run and that was a function obviously it will not showing any answer until you're not calling it i'm just calling the function name which is a data frame function name is a data frame and here when i call it and i'm passing the complete urls okay so when i just run it it will running the product one by one so few product have a totally sell uh, uh, same as a sell price okay so there is a completely uh, 14 uh, uh, 15 pages that means start from zero and end with 14 yeah finally it's done not showing any kinds of error so everything is stored inside a dictionary okay let me also check it data set store in the dictionary so if it's stored in the dictionary it will be very easy to create in a data frame format so already we have a pandas so we can create it okay we can create it um, pd dot data frame and pass the value is the data set and let me store in the df let me store it and now it's look like a complete data frame there is a 347 product all the product which is available on iphone i just which is everything 347 product so now it's completely done uh, in case if you want to store anywhere and uh, we can store in uh, you know directly in a csv format as well we can also store in a uh, you know a mongodb as well so to storing in the csv format is very easy let me just write it down the heading store in csv format okay so uh, your df is available here df dot to underscore csv and just pass the value is uh, your, your product name iphone iphone dot csv in case if you're passing any kinds of uh, path then it will be stored in that path otherwise it will be storing in the same path same path in the sense where you just open the uh, jupyter notebook so this is my file hope uh, iphone type of file is not available here okay so when i run it again here then your file will be stored inside a cs iphone dot csv iphone dot csv where is that this one you can also check it the all the files store it here and that file you can also open in excel format let me show you that uh, iphone i can also open it in excel format properly okay yeah the file is opening on excel so all the product file i just store inside excel you can also check it Okay. See you in the next video.